the right thing to do when people start slamming you, and this is how you can tell oftentimes who's more godly, when you have you know, a couple people doing a lot of railing and the person who's getting railed on, they don't do anything. They just keep doing what they, what, what, what's right. They keep doing what, what they believe in their heart is right and have that integrity and don't go railing for railing. And you know what? The person who's speaking evil of you, just let them be ashamed if they're falsely accusing you by your good deeds and good works. You just keep doing what's right. Because in, it doesn't always come out right away. Sometimes it just takes a while before people realize, oh, oops, oops, that really wasn't a bad person. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have said anything so hastily. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have just gotten caught up in emotion and, and just started spouting off my lips things I don't really know because I don't like what they did. The Bible says in Romans 16, turn if you would to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. The Bible says in Romans 16, 17, I, I, I just preached on this a week or two ago, marking and avoiding people, right? The Bible says, now I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned, and avoid them. For they that are such serve not our Lord Jesus Christ, but their own belly, and by good words and fair speeches deceive the hearts of the simple. This verse is really clear about who we mark and avoid. Now, you can also turn to 1 Corinthians 5. You can see people who are caught up in those sins, right? I haven't seen anybody guilty of any of the sins of 1 Corinthians chapter 5 that, that I've seen get railed on. I also haven't seen anybody causing divisions and offenses contrary to doctrine. I haven't seen that happen. People who, by good words and fair speeches, are deceiving the hearts of the simple regarding doctrine and causing division and causing problems. In the I, don't, I haven't seen that happen. This is, I mean, this is the context. This is what we're talking about. These are the people you mark and avoid. It's the people who, cause, like, they're causing problems on purpose within the church. And, and they're completely going against the good doctrine that is, that is held at a church and just trying to cause division. And they're, and they're enticing people and using fair words. It's kind of like a false prophet. Right? I mean, this is, these are the people who are saying, you know what, mark and avoid those people. They're causing problems. They're no good. They're trying to steer people away. They're trying to split the church. They're trying, you know. But does it say you mark and avoid brethren for political beliefs? Does it say you mark and avoid brethren for, for other things? other opinions, other issues, other things that might be going on in the world? Do we mark and avoid them? For, or how about this? They're doing something you consider that to be weak. Oh man, you're weak or you're lame. So you just mark and avoid them? No. People can do things that may, you may consider to be weak or lame or whatever. And if they're your brother or sister in Christ, you still love them. And you still be there for them. And you don't put them on blast. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, actually when people do something you consider to be weak, look at verse number 14. The Bible says, Now we exhort you, brethren, warn them that are unruly, comfort the feeble-minded, support the weak, be patient toward all men. See that none render evil for evil unto any man, but ever follow that which is good, both among yourselves and to all men. And I'll tell you this much, anyone who actually really cares about somebody and maybe thinks that a rebuke is necessary, you know how you do that? in person, on the phone, privately. If, you're, if you actually love a person, you care about them, you're not going to just, oh man, well they did it. You know what? Do you want to set them right? Do you actually really care about them? Do you think that they need repentance for something? Why don't you go and talk to them about it? Why do you have to air everything out online and, and air your grievances with people for the whole world to see? Especially if they didn't do that to you. Why are you doing that? 